I'm convinced I actually stayed at the world's worst Airbnb. I had to sleep in my car because there's no way I was staying in there. I didn't get to the unit and check in until like almost midnight, 11.30. And this is what I saw when I walked up. A crooked handle. Do you see what I see? That screw? Do you feel safe? No. So I'm like, all right, let me see it through. I walk in the building and it's just creepy, weird, eerie vibes in there. So of course my room is at the end of the hall when I'm traveling by myself. And it's literally right next to that dark door at the end of the hall. So creepy. I was so scared. I had to record everything. Do you see a handle on the door? I don't. The owner is claiming that black square is. This is the view of the door from the inside. No handle. No people. How am I supposed to know who's at the door? And then the little motel lock at the top, that really pissed me off. Like, be so for real. They thought they ate with that? No. So I'm like, all right, let me see what the bathroom looking like. Bugs, spiders, everywhere in the bathroom. So I already don't feel safe, and now it's not even clean. In this video, I only recorded three of the spiders, but there was more than that. At the sink, the cabinets don't even close. Oh, let me see what's inside. Oh, nothing. No soap at the sink, okay? No body wash, one drop of shampoo, one drop of conditioner. I literally didn't even shower here because it just, it, no. And to think it can't get any worse, there's a stain on the bed. And then to my surprise, what is it? A bed bug on the wall. I texted the host about everything. He was immediately defensive and rude and not trying to accommodate me. So I reported it to Airbnb. I wasn't going to if the host was nice, but because he was rude, I reported it. This is me showing how tiny the towels were. And the host basically lied and said that I was trying to scam him. Scam him for what? But luckily, Airbnb saw the proof and was able to accommodate me. And don't stay here.